Ah, E3. It's like Christmas for gamers, but without family. And way more alcohol. Today I'm going to announce the 2017 winner. But to be completely honest, this thing is unwinnable. Electronic Arts first out, and started talking about some sci-fi sport. Then the boss man comes out and says, Stop talking shit about Battlefront, you fucking cunts. Russia coming to Battlefield. Dice. This is your one chance to add World War 1 tracksuits. In FIFA, the single player continues from the last game, and yeah, we get it EA, you have money. Two years ago, they released a Need for Speed reboot, and now, Need for Speed 2. This is way different than the original. Terrible remake, cancel it. Prison Break game, where you need a friend to be able to play it, so... That's not gonna happen. Anthem, a new game from super hot developer Bioware. And finally, what people actually showed up for. Battlefront 2 will have three times more content than the first one. Four map times three. Hey, that's a normal game! Then a bunch of YouTubers played Battlefront, but not me, so who gives a fuck? Publishers, I just want to say that I am extremely for sale. I'll promote anything. I'll even say this for free. EA won E3. Microsoft is an American tech company, therefore they need a buzzword or it collapses. Today's word is fork. They started by revealing that Project Scorpio is called Xbox One 2X and is the strongest console ever, six times stronger than any PC. They reveal like 42 exclusives. And out of those 42, two were exclusives. Games like Metro, without the Metro. Assassin's Creed subtitle cliche, set in Hellenistic Egypt. I hope they do like Unity and give them all British accents. A zombie survival game, finally. I don't care for these Twitch PvP games, and I didn't understand the Destiny 2 trailer, but now that I see the gameplay, I don't think it's actually gonna look like this. It's gonna look better, because 4K. But seriously, stop with the fake banter. You can tell it's fake because no one called someone else an autistic Spurglord. But they did announce original backwards compatibility, meaning they re-announced Halo 2, so Microsoft wins E3. Bethesda, spoiler alert, did not announce anything you wanted. But it's at 6am in the morning, so let's hope they don't disappoint. They announced DLC, a sequel to an average game, and paid mods. People got uh, mildly provoked. Bethesda defended themselves by saying it's not mods, it's paid mini DLC. And the internet agreed and let it go. But there was one more game. It went to black. The music started and Elder Scrolls 6. Nazi America! It looks awesome, great place to take the Elder Scrolls saga, Bethesda wins E3. The conference I assumed would have the most hype was Devolver Digital, but they didn't announce Gentle Jousting 2. Joust hard. It was a fun little conference making fun of E3 conferences. Stay out of my territory! But I always cheer for an underdog, so Devolver wins E3. The PC conference, powered by AMD, had the most exclusives. They better have. PS4 and Xbox can both do 4K now, so a PC is officially pointless. Total War Warhammer 2 received some flack for not being historical? What? Do you guys not know dinosaurs existed? Waifu Hearthstone, then Nvidia came out and talked about some nerd shit. I like football, so I zoned out. No idea what happened for the rest of the conference. But they did show 40 seconds of Bannerlord, so IBM wins E3. Ubi opened with XCOM Mario with rabbits. What? Nintendo wants that minion money, more Assassin's Creed RPG, The Crew 2 has many vehicles, but it's gonna be garbage without competitive forklifting. Dharma Initiative! Then I was like, is Rogue 2 happening? Awesome! No, it's a pirate game. Alright. No, it's not a fucking PvP Twitch multiplayer fuck! God! I can't believe my biggest E3 disappointment was a new game. Then things got worse. Two years ago I joked that they showed Beyond Good and Evil 2. Then they actually did it. Ubisoft stole my joke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We get it Sony, you have money. It started with an Uncharted spin-off called Uncharted. 
audio problems. The only game I'm interested in is The Last of Witcher 3, but it has zombie bears, wouldn't they and other predators kill all the zombie humans? Unless they're allies. Then I want to be on Team Zombie. Monster Hunter Dinosaurs... This E3 was all about dinosaurs. HD Shadow of the Colossus! Again, Robot Revolution, where you play as the fucking toasters. The baddies. Yet it's Quantic Dream, so it might be fun to fail every prompt. God of War 4 is in Scandinavia, but Kratos is from ancient Greece, so he can only speak American. This will lead to some crazy misunderstandings. I'm sure it will make a great sitcom, but for us that can understand what everyone is saying, it won't be fun. And finally, Insomniac is making a new Spider-Man similar to the classics, but they don't understand what made them so good. Tobey Maguire. James Franco wins E3. Nintendo has returned to making bank, so their conference had special effects. Showed a weeb game where the gameplay looks good but the cutscenes look bad. How do you mix them up? Then they announced a Pokemon RPG for consoles. Been requested for 20 years. That's the weakest way to announce the biggest announcement of E3. Not sure how you would do it. Like that! That's how you do it! Finally, Super Mario Odyssey. Looks nothing like the book. Didn't have any dinosaurs and very few Mexicans. So they betrayed the book readers but announced more stuff in 20 minutes than all other guys. So the winner of E3 is Blizzard. They started their own con, and you lazy fools should too. One con per company, no more E3 disappointments.